might try some corn this week, being the week of the 14th. I did a thing this morning. Yes, I put the coveralls on this morning. <sighs> yeah. Didn't really wanna, but it was windy and a high of 40 at 6 o'clock this morning. I had to do a little work outside this morning. And I was like, I really don't want to take them to work. Uh, I don't know. But like I said, we're going to set augers up. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to video and I'll be able to get, but I'll get some when we start corn harvest. I think that's going to happen this week. I'm not sure. Need to test and you guys have seen me set the big auger up before. I might try corn either tomorrow, being Tuesday, or Wednesday, not sure. Um, but we got to get stuff set up. Um, it is, well, like I said, we're all done with our beans except for double crop. And uh, we need to start thinking about getting corn started. So this is how we set up. Just that is. An option at hydraulic drive on this uh, Hutchinson grain auger um, it is by far the best auger that we've owned and uh, we've actually owned several of them they've been really 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 good augers like I said this is a added option that we got added on this auger instead of a a hand crank because uh, who the heck wants to sit here and crank a 10 inch auger by hand it is just yeah there's a time and a place for hand cranks but there is also a time for hydraulic motors hydraulic winches that's what this is it's a hydraulic winch it has a cable that runs up there cable comes back down and runs around well this winch right there that's exactly what that is is this is a winch just like you would see on like a UTV or a Jeep a CJ Jeep or whatever um, basically the same thing it uh, raises and lowers the auger this is no yes this is the auger that we use that goes up to the bin from the Grain cleaner, it has a winch on it, just like the big 10 inch auger. But instead, this has a, a puny hand crank, okay? And um, like I said, there's a time and a place for a hand crank. Um, it would have been, I, I've seen guys before take, and they either, they take this handle off, I've seen them do it. They take the handle off and they um, put a impact socket on the nut back here. And they just sit there with an impact gun and run it that way rather than sitting here with a crank and cranking the thing up and uh, not getting nothing done. But it's how we do things. Trying to make pieces parts work. We're hitting the cable up there. We can't go anymore that way because we're hitting the cable. We need to come up with some pieces parts to make this work. It's what this 
stuff here is is an extender and a piece with a little bit of a curve in it to make that work up there it's always something but we'll get it you'll stand here and look at it from this angle okay like see what i mean by we're hitting a cable up there and we can't come up the hill any so that's why we had to buy them pieces there to make that work no that's my bad it's not a hutchinson it's a agi auger my bad running a little bit of corn out of that wagon that we had sitting in here running that up into the wet bin so that way we can get going when it's time to get going another propane tank has arrived well we're going picking here a little bit I guess I need to get my grain cart fired up so that way we got a hauling device to haul corn in. A little bit of a traffic jam here, but that's okay. Wherever that combine goes, this cart goes. In most cases, that is. Just got started a couple moments ago, picking this field back here. Everybody says the corn's dry this year. Uh, dry and short. Oh well. We'll just make the best of it. Yeah, it is what it is for no-till corn. I'm going to sit here and wait for him to pick the end rows. Wait for him when he gets a bin full of dumping me, and then I will go up to the auger. This is the only field that we got here at home to where we really need the mobile funnel. And then it'll be all dump truck work. Oh snap, that corn's doing better than I thought it would. Well, that corn's doing pretty good for no-till. What's that? Said that this corn's doing pretty good for no-till, as short as it is. Height has nothing to do with corn yield. It's the amount of kernels on the cob, right? Yeah. So he's going to flip around and I'm going to turn it. There. Okay. I'll stay here. got to do. To offload the corn. And here all these years I thought that height had to do with how well the corn did. It has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Okay. And on the move again. No 
sense in me waiting until I'm all the way full, right? No, I'll go dump it so they can start the dryer. Okay. <laughs> Little does he know the dryer's already running, but it is what it is. First load of 2024 corn. Partial load, I should guess you would say, because we weren't all the way full. Well, I better be putting the hammer down next load. Because he's loaded. I don't know why you just didn't leave the thing in D range. I had to sit at the wagon a little bit longer, but that is perfectly okay. Somebody's probably gonna tell me I should have cleaned windows, but that too is okay. We'll get we'll we'll clean them probably tomorrow. I can see the auger or the corn going in the hopper right down there. I can see the corn going in the bed on the wagon. You guys probably remember that 10 inch auger from when we, when we started soybean, or that <clears throat> 6 inch auger from when we started soybeans. I'd have to stop and wait and do some more stopping of unloading and some more waiting. With a 10 inch auger, I can just keep on emptying into the funnel. And it'll take it as fast as I put as I can put it in. This is my third dump. Usually by three dumps that uh, 1500 bushel bin used to sit right there uh, would be full by now. But with that being, I think it's like 5500 bushel or 5300 we can go till like 7 8 8 o'clock at night or so let the thing dry all the next morning into the night and then will be ready to go by 2 3 o'clock the following day we are empty running down to clean out right there let the auger clean out Continue shutting the gate once we see that there's no more corn flowing out of the auger. Lever returns back to neutral and away we go. I don't know how you guys can see it, but I can see the flighting down there on that auger. And I can see the corn going up the flighting. Which tells me we're in good standings. Corn goes into the dryer, or the wet bin, comes out the dryer, comes out the screen that's behind the wagon, goes up the transfer auger there, right there. That's a piece we had to add to this morning, right? there okay to be able to reach that auger because we can't go down anymore because we're hitting the cables the way it is on the big 10 inch auger goes up that auger there into the bin how in the world am i not well i was gonna say how am i not back before he's not full but i can see it start to bubble up there okay so,
Yeah. It would be nice if, if combines were set up like uh, how choppers were. I think of uh, I think of that one that Andy has. I think it's like a 9570. No, that's one of his tractors. But anywho, I wish that a combine was set up like a chopper. How you had your spout out the back and you could offload on the left side or the right side of the machine but we can only offload on the left side of the machine well we're making headway there's always a method to how a combine operator picks his field of corn or small grain peas potatoes what have you? When you cut a field of soybeans or wheat, you start at one end, and you go clear to the other. Whereas corn, it's a lot different. Get myself flipped around here. Please don't rain. Need a couple more hours and we'll get this field done. And then it can rain, but it's starting to look like it might rain before we get done. But if it does, it, it won't hurt corn like it does soybeans or wheat. I'm seeing a couple drops in a window. Huh. Well, as long as it stays a couple drops and doesn't amount, we'll be in good standings. Oh dear. And he's full. But it looks like he's on the right side. Watch this, guys. And that's how it's done. Well, kind of. <laughs> I had meant to downshift sooner when I was under the auger, but it is what it is. So now the question is, am I on the right side of at the corn or am I on the wrong side? I think I might be on the right side. Hmm. I think I might be. I okay. I'm. I am right that I'm on the right side of the corn. I love it when I'm right. Right. So Pete set me up with the last cart full. I'm gonna load this. He'll dump, if I'm still sitting at the auger when he comes up, he'll just dump what's left in the combine on me. I'll dump that in the wagon. That'll go in the wet bin. I don't 
don't know which engine I like hearing better under a load, a 466 or the uh, 6081 and a 7810 John Deere. What do you guys think? Does the 466 sound better under a load or the 6081? Good farm employee always fuels the stuff up at the end of the day, letting the engine cool off at the same time. harvest day one was a success we got all of the no-till field done and everything's put away that needs to be put away so with that being said we'll probably start picking corn tomorrow Tuesday the 15th probably two o'clock again or so Give her time, give the field time to dry after it rains tomorrow morning. Just like it did this morning. We'll join up with you guys at some rate tomorrow. Boy, that car right there makes it appear closer than it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. When, uh, it's actually way out the other end of the field there about half a mile away it's funny how things what is that a uh, optical illusion I guess so but we'll catch you guys some other time thanks for watching behave yourselves will you